on to Larko, the one-time England hopeful. He's dropped by Alan Smith. He's taking action after Saturday's defeat to Notts County. Paul Mortimer makes only his second appearance for them in two seasons. The man Howard Kendall is most aware of is Chris Armstrong, a player he's twice inquired about. Everton are without Peter Beergry, the man of the match in the Goodison game, and their player of the season so far. He'll be a major loss. Left-back Andy Hinchcliffe is also injured, so it's all changed on the left-hand side. Matt Jackson comes into defence, and Yugoslav Preki, who's crossed it at the equalising goal on Merseyside, gets his chance on the wing. Referee tonight is Ray Bigger from Norwich, and he expects a passionate affair. So, Everton in their white strip, their third strip, kick off, hoping to uh, defend Howard Kendall's record. Well documented that it's his third year in charge in his second spell, the anniversary at the weekend. They're hoping to avoid their 50th defeat under his managership. Alan Smith, very much a novice to the managerial stakes. Frecky, all left foot. Horn. Frecky again. Ball spinning around in midfield and Debrill going in a little too strongly. Southgate to Humphrey. Neat play. Bowery. Ball over the top. White checks. Does he have any? help oh it just drops over Holmes and that was the first chance of the game and Paul Mortimer on his return to the Pally's first team almost marked it with a goal in the first five minutes or so just a hopeful ball hurled into the centre over Holmes and Mortimer very close Horn brought down Horn has a very important date as the captain of Wales next week against Romania. Again, Crystal Palace not too sure in defence. Martin comes and cleared off the line. Richard Shaw did have time to uh, get rid of that one, but Nigel Martin was at sixes and sevens. Now, can Everton turn this? Pressure into a goal. But into play. Free waiting in the centre. Right out goes up. It trots to Watson, who's very keen to get into a striking role. Just thrown into a, an emergency centre forward position in the uh, first game. And he's getting up as often as possible. This is the uh, clearance off the line. It was brave play by Mark Ward, which created it, but there was nobody there. They were put pressure on Shaw. The Palace are crowding that midfield. So much that Cotty has to come back. Nice little turn though from Ward. He's created space for himself, but that wasn't the pass which was required. The Palace again hit and hope. Ward to Cotty. He's one on one with Young. If he can concentrate, a good shot. And Martin had to be sharp. Tony Cotty made a nice little run from midfield to get on the end of that ball. And his shot uh, had a, quite a bit of power. It was good footwork by Martin. at a confident start Ward oh good ball from Ward but the wind just carries it through to uh, the Palace goalkeeper been the busier of the two so far little flick and 
Southall loses that one out of nothing. Southgate scores. Well, Neville Southall, the perfectionist, will blame himself for that one. Gareth Southgate just took the flick into his path. Thought he'd try a shot against one of the world's best goalkeepers. And how dare he beat Neville Southall from this kind of distance. Bounced awkwardly for the Welsh international keeper. And we don't need to translate what uh, Southall was saying as he watched the ball nestle in the back of the net. Powerful shot. 1-0 to Palace with 20 minutes gone. Gareth Southgate's seventh goal of the season. Brings a smile to the face of Alan Smith, one of the most cheerful managers in British football. Referee uh, punishes the original foul inside the Palace half from Barry Horn, even though Armstrong was fouled by Watson when the ball was released. Free kick. Deep inside the, the Palace half. Or 15 yards at least. Watson off balance, does well to get it away. Only as far as Shaw. Gets around Preki. Appeal for her ball, the referee ignores that. Spectacular diving header, still not cleared. Nervous moments for Everton as Roger puts an upper under in and going away from Bobby Bowery. But the Crystal Palace fans giving their players a well-deserved round of applause. It was Richard Shaw who created that opportunity, whipping it in. And uh, bodies diving in from all directions in front of Neville Southall. Offside against uh, Armstrong. Eyes are making sure that the uh, point is made. Watson joins the attack. Of course, he's young into the mistake. Now, can Cotty capitalise? No penalty given. Well, the referee was a lot closer than I was. From up on the gantry, I would have given a penalty. Tony Cotty feels he was fouled. Here's the incident. Connie was chasing the ball, going away from goal, and Martin made contact. Well, it looked a penalty to me. It didn't to the referee, and he's the only man that matters. But I think Tony Cotty had a very good case. Signifying he didn't use his hands, Richard Shaw, but uh, quite clearly did. Free kick to Everton on... Uh, Halfway line. All hopes. Watson again up there. Again, Young misses it. A suspicion of handball. And uh, Cotty will have to settle for the corner kick. You have to say that Dave Watson's been the best attacker so far. And he lives up to that rating by bringing Everton back into the game. Well, Watson, whenever he's gone forward, has got on the end of things. And that was a diving header from what, two yards? Quite a simple set piece in there. In comes Watson, muscles his way through and powers it into the net. And that's the face of a committed captain. I think he's uh, thinking about making Dave Watson an all-out centre forward every week. Humphrey. Potty misses out. Humphrey gets it again to Southgate, the scorer. Neville Southall's ball. Southgate, six footer. He was once released by Southampton for not being big enough, would you believe? Right 
wide out's presence creates a chance for Cotty. The spectacular shot, always going wide. But Cotty is getting more and more into the game as the cracks are opening up in the Palace defence. There's the Everton goal again. As you see, Dave Watson was completely unmarked and the inquest going on in the Palace back. Southgate, same for Mortimer. Well kept in. Everton filled from the back. But a uh, niggling little foul from Roger on Horn. Have a good record against Merseyside clubs in cup competitions, Crystal Palace. Of course, knocked Liverpool out last season here at Selhurst Park uh, in a replay. Can Everton go one better? Again, Merseyside revenge. Good cross, Cotty! So close! Tony Cotty, not the most dangerous player on the field in the air, but he stole in between the Giants on this occasion as Holmes delivered a pint-sized cross for him and Cotty turned off Young and was inches away. Benson will be happy, I think, to go in at half-time with the scores level. Gary, Gary Ablett is going to be lucky to go in at half-time without his name in Ray Bigger's notebook. Mr. Bigger goes to his top pocket. Ablett pleads the case for the defence. Here's the evidence. The Palace defender was backing into him. Ablett held on to his hand, hauled him to the ground, and the linesman signals. The referee gives Ablett a yellow card. The first of uh, what has been a very sporting game so far. Last chance, possibly, of the first half. Floated in there. Doesn't drop to Mortimer. And whacked clear by Holmes. And that's the last kick of a frantic first half. The scoring started by Crystal Palace's Gareth Southgate, but captain Dave Watson gives us a half-time scoreline of Crystal Palace 1, Everton 1, and all to play for in the second half. 